All right, Chris Johnson, Blue Cow Outdoors. Today we're going to be filming what I'm taking to West Virginia. It's either going to be the Indian Creek 562 or the Primos Tightwad, which is a 570 constriction and $20. Stay tuned. Oh yeah, I forgot about that, but I was I trying. But with that is the load that I am not going to hunt with, but I'm going to shoot it because it's the same size shot, and that is the Apex GT20, number nine shot, one five eighth, eighth ounce, going 1175 feet per second. But I plan on shooting with some custom loads, but this is the closest thing we have to it, so that's what I'm going to shoot. Let's see how this does at 20 yards. 20? Or, sorry, let's see how this does at 40 yards. Shoot the Indian Creek first. All right, first up, I'm gonna shoot the Indian Creek 562 with the Apex 9 shot. Left target. Yes, sir. Ooh, that smoked. That is smoked. Right there. Yes, it is. Well, let's see. All right, now I switched over to the old 570 Primos Tightwad. Same load. I'm on it whenever. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be close. That's going to be really close. Huh. I don't know. That's dead center. Maybe it, may, it might be a touch left. It looks like there's 7 billion pellets right in your core. 7 billion? Yeah, maybe a touch under, touch over. Plus or minus a million. All right, let's go down see what these look like. See what I'm going to be hunting with in the old West Virginia. All right. First up is the Indian Creek 562. And that, with the Apex, at 40 yards, number nine shot, is an awesome pattern. I mean, a little bit left, I mean, everything is right there. I mean, not gonna have a lot of leeway with it. It does give me enough, though, out to 40 yards, but anything in closer, I mean, she's gonna be tight. So I'll just make, make sure I'm just right on them. I mean, you do get a couple flyers out of it, but really, not too many. I mean, it's a really good option for me to take, but let's go over and check out the tight wad and see if it's better or worse and which one I am gonna actually take with me. All right, this is a Primos tight wad, 570. <laughs> that also is one hell of a pattern. This one gives you basically the same leeway as the other. I mean, there is one void in there, but still that's not gonna make or break if this turkey is gonna die or not, because it's still gonna be smoked. I mean, this choke tube does give you a couple more flyers than the other, but not very many. I mean, this one might be a little more lenient in closer, but I mean, still, that's smoked. I mean, Literally, these are like mirror images. I think if you were taking stand, these facing each other look exactly the same. So, I mean, it's it is it's almost impossible to make this decision, but I think I am just going to take the Indian Creek, although I'm taking this choke tube with me, depending on if we're going to be hunting in the woods or in a field. So, I still will have an option, but it's not much of one. I mean... It's just funny how similar they are. I mean, literally, there's no difference between them. I mean, this one's centered up a little more than the other one, but maybe I'll just flip a coin in the morning and see which <laughs> one I'm going to take with me that particular morning. You just got to get We'll respect. update you every day what I'm using. <laughs> you just got to respect the tight wad. Yeah, I mean, I mean, this tight wad, it hangs with every top dollar choke tube on the market. How can you go wrong for $20? <laughs> you awesome. really can't. Get on your left. Is the Indian Creek 562, the number nine shot apex. Really good pattern. 
And on your right is the old Primos tight wad with the same shot, Apex 9s. And that too is a good pattern. So, like I said, I think I might just flip a coin in the morning and figure out which one I'm going to use because I'm taking them both with me. So, but can't go wrong either way. It's just $20 or $80. And that's the difference. In really. stock, can never get. On sale for probably $12 in some places. <laughs> I did see that. It was yeah. 12 bucks. Yeah. And you can the, buy them. That's the yeah. other thing. Yeah, the, these. I was lucky to find this. You got to be online every day to find them in stock because it's tough. Those, you can pick them up at your local Walmart. <laughs> you used to be able to. Yes. Okay, again, this is a video of what I'm going to be taking to West Virginia. This will be a premiere with all three of ours stacked back to back for you to view as we're on our way down or maybe even in West Virginia at the time. So hopefully we can lay down some old long beards in old West Virginia. Yeah. Can't wait. That's two weeks. It's going to be a long two weeks. Yes. Until then, we'll see you in the turkey woods that morning. You betcha.